Hi YouTube, I'm James from LPJ Models. Today we're going to be painting this Mercedes D3 engine from the 132nd Wingnut Wings Junkers D1 kit. I've added the Taurus Models rocker assembly and spark plugs to enhance the detail. Let's get to it. Firstly I'm going to prime the engine with Mr. Colour GX2, thinned with Mr. Colour Leveling Thinner. This will be applied in two stages. Firstly, a layer of GX2 thin 70% paint to 30% thinners, and after a few minutes, a highly thinned coat of GX2, approximately 60% thinners to 40% paint. This will give an ultra smooth surface for the outcut later on. So now I'm applying the highly thinned layer of the Mr. Colour GX2. As you can see, I'm spraying very wet layers of paint to make sure I have a nice high gloss surface. After leaving the GX2 to cure overnight, it's time to start painting the main body of the engine with Alclad white aluminium. I'm using a post-it note for quick masking. If used correctly, this can save a lot of time. You can also start to see how good the Alclad looks over the GX2. This is my first time using Mr. Color GX2, and I will be using it again. I'm now shading around some of the details using Alclad Magnesium. This is a great colour for creating shading over an Alclad finish. It can add a lot of depth to the final product.
finishing up with a very light layer of alclad aluminium to unify the shadow coat of magnesium with the rest of the finish. This will tone it down and give it a more natural look. I'm going back over the piston housing with GX2 to clean up some alclad overspray and make sure my lines are crisp. This is the last bit of spraying for now. These parts are being sprayed in a coat of pure alclad aluminium for variation. Now it's time to paint the details. I use a mix of Vallejo, Dark Star Metallics and Citadel Metallics. Here I'm using a Kalinsky Sable 2.0 brush and Citadel Hashut Copper. I'm building it up in thin coats, making sure not to leave any brush strokes behind. Now it's time to pick out the appropriate details with Vallejo Brass. I'm painting the water pipe in Vallejo Black to match the instructions. This part took a few tries for me to get the look I wanted. I eventually settled on a one-to-one -one mix of Citadel Runefang Steel and Vallejo Green Grey to get a dull aluminium look. The magnetos were painted in Vallejo Black to match a reference photo I had seen and add visual interest to the engine. Painting the spark plugs were a challenge because they're so small. I started by painting the part closest to the engine in Runefang Steel. The centre parts were painted Vallejo White. 
and that ends in Vallejo Brass. With most of the painting out of the way, it was time to wire up the spark plugs. For this I used Ushi van der Rosten Riglet thing and attached the wire to the model with a dab of Gelux Materials Rocket Wrapper Super Glue and some fine tweezers. Once the super glue was dry, I painted the spark plug wires with Vallejo German Yellow. Now all the main details are done, it's time to varnish the model in preparation for decals. I'm using my go-to gloss coat, Alclad Aqua Gloss in wet coats at 20 psi. Here I'm just painting some details I missed with Dark Star Regency Gold. And now it's time to add the decals. The decals were applied straight over the aqua gloss and excess water was removed with a cotton bud. As you can see, I had a little trouble with a decal folding over on me. This was remedied by flooding the area of water and manipulating the decal with the tweezers. The decals were sealed in with a final layer of Alclad Aqua Gloss. For the weathering, I'm using various mixes of Windsor & Newton Winton oils thinned with white spirit. The colours are yellow ochre, titanium white, French ultramarine and burnt umber. For the metallic sections, I made an oily looking mix with ultramarine and burnt umber and applied it to the details on the model. The Aqua Gloss helps the wash to flow around the details. For the black areas of the engine, I mixed a dusty, grimy colour from yellow ochre and white with a touch of ultramarine and burnt umber. I added some streaks to the engine with a thick mix of ultramarine and burnt umber and blended them in with a soft wide brush, slightly damp with thinner. And there you have it, a complete Mercedes D3 engine in 132nd for the Wingnut Wings Junkers D1. 
I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more modelling videos covering a wide range of subjects. Feel free to leave a comment and until next time, I've been James of LPJ Models. Thanks for watching.